guys. Hope you guys are at home staying safe, keeping away from this virus. Anyways, I wanted to do a review on two seats. Well, a set of seats that I bought for my Mustang recently. And the reason why I purchased these seats because, long story short, I was at a warehouse doing the delivery. I'm a trucker, so I was doing the delivery. I went inside to get my paperwork signed that way I can uh, take off. And I saw a couple boxes here and there as I was going through a couple little path pathways. And I saw a couple boxes that said racing seats. I'm like, hmm, racing seats, huh? So I talked to one of the guys. I said, hey, racing seats, racing seats for what? What do they go on? He goes on cars. They're uh, universal. So I was like, okay. I'm like, let me check them out, dude. I'm like, do they go on Mustangs? He goes, yeah. He goes, uh, I have a um, brochure. I'm like, sure, let me check it out. So I checked out the brochure, and it turns out, it's those seats that are being sold on eBay. So I'm like, you know what? Do you have a sample? Do you have a pair, an open box somewhere I can check out? He goes, uh, yeah, I have these. You know, so it was a uh, it was a return from a customer, and the package was slightly open a little bit. And what they normally go for on eBay, they 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 range between three hundred, three thirty, three fifty. That's what I've seen them for. Anyway, so long story short, I got them really cheap. <laughs> so I paid right there, took the box, put it in my truck, boom, I was out the door. So I got these about a week and a half ago, and I've been waiting for a good, normal day off so I can do a review on these because they are being sold on, on eBay. I went on um, YouTube to see if I could find these seats, see if anybody had done a review on these, and there is no reviews. So I'll do my best. I'm gonna try to keep it really short. Let's get to the unboxing. The, the box is already open. Let me turn this on. China racing seats, main China, there you go. Racing seats, and I went with the uh, black leather. Anyways, let's get those out. Open the box a little while ago. Within that week and a half period, I went ahead and purchased, and I did a little bit of research to see what I was gonna need mount these on my Mustang I went ahead and bought some mounting brackets now I have a razor here somewhere so anyways I went ahead and bought mounting brackets because uh, it does require for you to buy mounting brackets I found those on eBay as well for a uh, pretty cheap 115, 120, something, something along those lines. Got those within two days. They're local right here in Ontario. And they, these came from a warehouse out in the city of industry. It's a close drive for me. That's about a 25, 30 minute drive for me. <clears throat> this is gonna be the Passenger seat. For the price that I paid, even for the price that they're going for on eBay, it's actually a pretty good deal. They're uh, the Brown knockoffs, you can say. There are some pretty good knockoffs. I've had seats in the past, racing seats in the past. I've had the Recaros, I've had the Sparkos, and I've had knockoff seats. It's all pretty much preference, budget, what you're willing to spend, how much you're gonna drive the car. This is not my daily driver. I drive this once a month, if even that. I decided recently to do a couple things to it, a couple little upgrades just so I can just uh, get motivated to drive it a little bit more. I changed out the rear tires, um, went a little, little bit higher, redid a couple stripes, um, the armrests, I bought some door panels which are right up here somewhere which uh, I'll show you guys a picture of that shortly and then also recently I did, <clears throat> this bothered me a lot, 
which was the uh, windshield cover. That thing was so ugly. Here, let me go. let me show you guys really quick before we get back to these seats. This thing was really ugly right here. It was like gray faded. So I took it out yesterday using this little cool tool right here on the picture. Better look at this. Close up. This is imitation leather. I already know that. This is like high quality vinyl. Though. You know, knockoff leather, call it what you want it. But it's good quality. You know, it's good quality. <clears throat> black, black vinyl. You got your gray stitching, which looks white gray, you can say. And it's also got the uh, carbon fiber vinyl right here, which is a, uh, you rub it like this, it, it's, it's raised which I do really like that. Get a look at the sides. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, I'm not one of those really picky guys that expects perfection, especially for, you guys really wanna know what I paid for these seats? I paid a hundred bucks a piece. Can't go wrong. Get a look at the other side. Comes with the sliding rails already, which I seen that. They say that all their seats come with the sliding rails. Clean up my mess. Show you guys what we got here. Let's start from the back. side real quick some few imperfections it's not a big deal see an imperfection right here this that I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it it'll probably get better as time once you uh, uh, sit on it for a while for a guy like me that drives this car maybe once a month if even that last time I drove this car was uh month and a half ago when I went to go buy groceries just to take it out. My daily driver is my, my truck, my 1500. I drive that daily. Anyways, for a guy that's not going to be driving daily, this is a nice seat. Even if you're going to be daily driving, I don't know why this would be an issue. I mean, they're really nice seats. Looks wise, they're really nice. I mean, they're super nice. Are they top of the line? Spark over Carl Brom seats? No. But, I mean, for 150 bucks each, you can't go wrong. So, anyways, that's it. We're going to get them installed shortly. Um, take the stock ones out. I'm not going to show a video of that. I'm not going to show the video on removing the seats and installing the seats because you, can, you guys can go on YouTube and uh, watch those other videos. I mean, that's a long process. It, the videos will get ex become very long after that. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the brackets I bought for the, for the uh, seats also, on the bottom. These are everywhere on eBay. I messaged the, uh, the buyer before buying these, so I said, hey, is there any um, modifications I need to do with these? He goes, on some cars, you may need to re-drill here and there, but if, if you do, it's minor, which looks about right. If I do have to do any modifications, I'll uh, show you guys what I did. So this one will be, this is going to be the passenger side, and this is going to be the uh, driver's side. 
So with any seats that you get for your Mustang, like these, I know this year, most years actually, you will need to buy these for your aftermarket seats. This one looks like it was a, like a seat was already on here. If you guys can see all the little scratches. I don't know. Little scratches here and there. No big deal. It's nothing. You don't see that. Like I said, I'm not a picky guy. I don't expect imperfection, especially on these. I mean, you're not going to be able to see any of this. <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, you guys, I'll show you guys uh, shortly the before and after pictures. So I just got back from doing that little drive. I really like these seats and I'm gonna tell you why. A, because they're really cheap. I only spent 200 bucks. Even if I were to purchase these on eBay for uh, 300 bucks, 320, 330, whatever they have them for, still worth it. And let me tell you why. The installation process was so easy, so easy. There is no modifications needed. The brackets that I bought for these seats, everything went on. Perfect. Like I said no modifications. That's a huge plus. The looks wise, I mean, look at these seats, you guys. I mean, it'll it'll give you that ag aggressive, sporty look. Comfort wise, comfort wise, you can't compare these to your stock seats. My stock seats are very comfortable compared to these, but you're going to have to sacrifice comfort over looks. These right here, you're pretty much planted. I like these because it really feels like a race car now. You know, like, like you're in a go-kart or something. Your back, your body is pretty much mounted on the seats. So I noticed when I was making these, those turns, you don't slide side to side to side. You're pretty much planted on there. And that's what I really like. It's definitely, these seats are definitely, definitely gonna, uh, motivate me to drive this car a little bit more often because these seats actually make this car feel like a race car when you're driving i mean you're pretty much planted on the seats which i already knew that because i've had seats in previous cars a long time ago airbag light my airbag light did turn on which i did expect that and uh, i i used this thing well i tried to use this thing to delete the code and it i was able to delete it 
But once I took off, uh, it came back on within seconds. The only thing that wasn't on is that uh, annoying little beep. So I'm not getting the, the beep. The airbag light is on. I'll uh, probably take care of that uh, sometime this week, tomorrow, I don't know, during the week, next weekend. I don't know, I'll get to it though. You know, I'll Google it, because I don't know how to uh, fix that right now. So these are gonna look good, these are gonna feel good, good quality. Um, for the amount of driving that I do, they're perfect, you know. So if you guys are on the fence, I would go for it guys. You're not gonna be disappointed. All right. If you guys have any questions, uh, comment down below in the comment section. I'll uh, reply as soon as I can. I just seen that I reached 500 subscribers. Thanks for that, guys. It's only going to motivate me to do these little videos um, here and there whenever I get a chance. And I am going to try to uh, stay more active on this YouTube channel. You know, originally it was for uh, fishing and then it switched over to car, this, this Mustang. And then uh, currently I was doing a lot of boxing, which... Uh, I am going to get back into training in the next uh, two, three weeks. Um, oh, by the way, size-wise, I'm 5'11", 34, 33, 34 waist, if that helps. The panels I'm going to be installing right here. The shift boot, just got that today. Door panels, boxes unopened. So, yeah, I'll be doing the uh, unboxing, the installation, review on that. All right, so... Anyway, stay tuned, you guys. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.